Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for February 15th, 2021. So today we have finally something different, my goodness. Coral, allow flow and synchronicity into your life. The number is 18. We are getting online with the divine. Okay, anyway, um, <laughs> this is saying we don't have to, uh, it's the same kind of message. Like there are ways that we can cope with the transitional energy that we are all going through. Yes. So we're all going through this time. We're going through it as a collective, um, of being more in the flow and, and not, everyone's always asking me about blocks and what are the blocks? What do I need to work through? What do I, it is working through and not buying the surface level story. Yes. You are not bad. If in, you know, 2020, you're a small business owner. Okay. You're not Amazon, which benefited, had, had a great year, okay, um, and you're a small business and you went out of business and now you're wondering how you're going to pay your mortgage and you got the mortgage because there's all this pressure to buy a house and somehow you're a loser if you don't buy a house and, you know, but shame on you for having a mortgage and being in debt and, you know, how am I going to pay this? Well, I'm such a bad person. See the game? Do you see the game? Don't buy into it. Don't buy into it. Don't let it have any weight in your life. Free yourself. Yeah, 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 fine. The bills are going to be there. Got it. I'll handle it when I can handle it. And that's just how it's going to go. I'm going to be in joy. I'm going to be in flow and synchronicity. And what happens when you do that? The weirdest stuff I can, I can just tell you, listen, <laughs> the weirdest stuff will happen for you. This is where miracles start popping up. And it's like, even if it's a small miracle, you know what I mean? Or what we would define as a small miracle or something unexpected, but beautiful. That's where it can start coming to you. And what's more, it's not just coming to you. You are now awake enough to see it and to accept it. And I really need to put this message out there. Please remember you are worthy. A lot of times we don't get what we need. It's not because the universe isn't offering it. It's because we think there's some sort of trouble in accepting it. Or the big one, we're going to owe someone something if we accept a gift. I understand. Like that's how we humans kind of work. We don't want to be indebted. There's that word again. Uh, to someone else. But if help comes and it feels genuine and, you know, it's always, always tune into the light. If someone's coming from a space of light and love and they're offering something, don't shut it out. Okay. And I've even seen people shut out love, potential love that seemed like it was only they know, but like, it seemed like it was genuine, but they shut it out because they want to be chased. You know why? Women, especially, <laughs> or, or feminine energy, let's just say that, um, that feminine energy, it, it's like, it's always, it's always trained to, to play hard to get or to have someone prove themselves to you by constantly running away. Now I've run away from potential love partners because they were nuts. Um, and I wanted nothing to do with it. Yeah, you know, that's not what I'm talking about exactly here. Um, <laughs> but like, <laughs> But, you know, see where you try to, um, and we all do it. Where do we create more drama for ourselves? Where do we keep creating and pumping into a story um, where it's almost then like our, our life becomes a movie? Think about this. We make things very complicated, don't we? I want love. Love shows up. No, not you. Chase me, chase me, chase me. That's the kind of nonsense that they need for a movie script because there's a formulaic way of writing a movie script so that an, an audience will engage in it. See the programming? Oh, I, I, I want abundance, I want abundance, I want abundance. Here's this incredible career offer. Yeah, I don't know, it take up a lot of time. I don't know if I wanna like study to do that. Because we get into a loop and it's almost like we are afraid of our own resolution to a problem. <laughs> we're afraid of it or we're afraid of being tricked. I mean, there's a lot of different things that go into this and it's about trusting. But if we tune into our intuition and we're open, we'll see the gifts that the universe is bringing us 
and we'll know when it's safe to accept it. You feel me? All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.